Hey guys, we're gonna learn how to set up our Chronosense for the PlayStation 5 using a regular PS5 controller and the DualSense Edge. We're gonna go through the full setup with adding scripts and all that, so let's go ahead and get started. What you guys want to do is simply open up your laptop or your PC and simply open up Chrome browser, right? Once you guys are here, type in at the top exactly what you guys see right here. Type in Chronosense Download. Once you've done that, you're gonna click on the first link that pops up because we're gonna need to download the software and the firmware for our Cronus then. So once you're here, click on the downloads tab and the first link that's gonna pop up is gonna be the Zen Studios we need. So once you are here, all you have to do is right click on the build 82 version right here since that's the latest one. And then all it would do is just go up into your downloads tab in the right hand corner. You guys can see the Zen Studios here. Once you see it there, what I like to do is go ahead and bring it out onto my desktop, right? So you want to open up your file explorer from the bottom. You guys can see mine here. Click on the downloads tab and you should see the Zen Studios right here. Once you do, simply right click and drag and drop into your desktop. All right, guys, once we have done that, all you need to do is right click on it and simply go ahead and run the program. OK, so hit next I here. Hit I agree. And then simply in the last step is going ahead and hitting install. OK, once that is done, there's going to be two new apps onto your desktop. You're going to see them right here. It's going to be called the Zen Studios and the Zen Link Configurator. All you're going to need right now is just the Zen Studios. All right. So again, this whole time, don't have the Zen plugged in. Go ahead and open up the Zen Studios next. All right. First thing we're going to do is update the firmware for a Cronus Zen. And then we'll go ahead and add scripts onto it. OK, so once you guys see the screen, simply go ahead and hit open update tool right here. And look, this whole time we haven't plugged anything into the Cronus Zen at all. All right. Now, this is the first point we're going to go ahead and be plugging things in. So let me go ahead and explain all the cables that will come with the Zen. All right. They all will look very similar to this little cable here that you guys are seeing. It's going to be a normal USB end on one side. You guys can see and the other ends will be USB C's. OK. So what you want to do is you want to plug the USB side into your laptop or your PC, whatever you guys are using to run this update tool right here. All right. Again, the cables will not all be this short. There's longer ones. I'm just showing the shorter one because it's in my hand. All right. But what you want to do is plug whenever you guys are updating your Zen is you plug it in at the top. Right. So anytime I mention the top now, you guys will know this is the top. So you guys can see right here. The other end of this cable again goes into your laptop or your PC. OK, so this is the top of the Zen. So that's what you have to do to update it first. So all we're going to do is go ahead and simply plug it in at the top, right? The other end of this cable is already into my laptop or PC. But once you guys see it here, first thing we're going to do is go ahead and update the Zen, right? So you have to flip it over first. And on the back of the device, there is a little blue button. You guys can see it right here, right? So you're going to go ahead and hold this down to three to five seconds until on the Zen screen, it says Zen bootloader, right? So again, hold down the little blue button for three to five seconds until on this screen, it says Zen bootloader, right? So here's what it'll look like. You guys can see it says Zen bootloader. If I go back to my desktop, I've already updated the Zen, so it shows up here. But for you guys, it's just going to say it's going to be like this, right? You're going to hit connect here, hit on Cronus Zen paired and then hit connect. Once you do, you want to just hit this latest 2.2 firmware. Just update to whatever the latest version is right there, right? Once it's done updating, I'll show you guys exactly how to add scripts onto your Cronus Zen, all right? So let's go ahead and wait up till it does indeed download. Once it downloads, I'll show you guys where you will need to go next to go ahead and download free scripts for your Cronus Zen that I recommend everyone go ahead and check out, all right? So you can see it's done. Now, all you want to do is unplug the Zen from the top, all right? Once that is done, you guys want to go into the first link in the description in all my videos, guys. I'll leave you guys this free scripts tier that you guys can sign up for on our podium. Again, it's completely free. Once you've signed up, here's how you'll download the script, right? Once you guys log on to your page, all you want to do is right click on your name. OK, click on the products tab here and you guys will see the free scripts here. Again, you guys can upgrade and download our better scripts up here. But again, just click on the free scripts here for plug and play scripts. This is the best one right here. The rabbit version one. If you're new, I highly recommend you download this. So to download, just simply go ahead and right click on this. Once you do, it will just go up into your downloads tab, right? To get it saved to our Zen now, we're going to go ahead and go up here to our Zen studios again. All right. Again, I recommend just closing it out, open it back up. And now whenever you guys go ahead and plug your Cronus Zen in, you're going to go ahead and plug it in only on the right hand side. OK, 
So again, you don't plug in at the top ever again, unless you're onto your console or your PC and you're playing. Whatever you hear in the Zen Studios, you only plug it in on the right hand side, right? So here's what that looks like. So you go ahead and grab your cable and look, you only plug it in on the right hand side, you guys can see. And if you've done it correctly, sometimes the Zen Studio still won't load in. You can see the programmer's not there. Just hit cancel and open it back up, all right? It's completely fine if it doesn't load in the first time. Again, Zen can be a little finicky, but that's all good. So we can see it here, everything's loaded in. Perfect, now we're ready to add the script. So all you do is press the file up here to the top left-hand side, press open, go into the downloads and you'll see our free Rabbit version one. Right click on it and simply go ahead and press open, all right? And again, look, it's only plugged in on the right-hand side. The other end of this cable is into our laptop or our PC, guys, all right? Whatever you're using to run your Zen Studios, Click on Programmer Next once you see that cool looking Panda logo. Press the six little lines on the left hand side, we can see it there, and you'll see the Rabbit version one. Once you see it here, just right click, drag and drop into the bottom slot, and press this play button that's flashing at you to program, aka save the script, right? Once it saves, you're ready to go, and now we're gonna go ahead and talk about how to set it up for everything else. First thing you guys are going to want to do when it comes to pairing your Chronosen to your PlayStation 5, even if you guys are using the DualSense Edge or the regular controller, which is what I'm going to use first, is go ahead and wirelessly connect your controller, you guys can see me do this now, to your PlayStation 5, all right? And this whole time, make sure your Zen's not plugged in, it's just on the side just like this, all right? First thing we're going to need to do is let me go ahead and get rid of the face cam for a second. You're going to go into the settings tab here, and you have to set up these settings correctly, all right? So you're going to go into your accessories. Go down to where it says controller in general. Make sure all these settings here you guys see on my screen look exactly like that on yours, all right? Make sure your communication method is set to use USB cable and these top two are set to strong, all right? Once all that's done, then you wanna go back up to general here and this is where you'll do the button spam step, right? So all you want to do is hover over, turn off accessories. Next, what you wanna do is go ahead and pick up your Cronus then. And now you're going to have to wire up your controller, right? And again, I know sometimes you guys have some really bad cables. If you have older cables, I recommend you get new ones. But again, first thing, the USB end is going to go straight here to the left side of the Zen, right? You guys can see, if you're looking at the Zen, it's going to be on this left-hand side. Now, the USB-C end just goes straight into your controller, right? You guys can see just like this. That's all you want to do. Next, you guys can see this is what our Zen looks like. Now, you have to go ahead and give the Zen power from the top. The other end of the cable is going to go into your PS5, right? Doesn't matter if it's a front USB port or the back ones. And again, make sure you guys, if you're going to use cables that come with the Zen, make sure you use the one with the black little things right here, like the transmitter things. Make sure you use these. Don't use any other ones. And again, the USB end goes into your PS5 just like this. The C is where it's going to go at the top of the Zen, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and grab the red cables that I always use. Again, I've had these for about... 10 to 15 years now, not 10 to 15, since 2020, I think. I've been using them for a long time. They're the best cables, all right? So again, I go ahead and give it the power from the top, but before you plug it in fully, guys, all right, you can see there's no power on the Zen. This is how you do the button spam step, right? All you need to do here is hold down right on the D-pad on your controller, and then go ahead and plug the Zen in at the top, right? So again, hold down right on the D-pad. You guys can see right here, that's all you do. So just hold down right, and you can see I'm going to go ahead and give the Zen power from the top. But look, this time a script was active, right? So if you're do trying to do the bind spam step and the script was active, sometimes it will not work, right? So I'm happy it was active because all you have to do next is just press the right side big blue button and leave it on the Zen screen for a second, right? I see this happen all the time. You have to make sure no scripts are active on your Zen, guys, all right? If you do this step just like I did and there is a script active, it will not work, all right? So make sure it says Zen for a couple of seconds. I'll leave it for at least 15 to 30. And then same thing, just kill the power from the top again. Now, again, you could just leave the controller plugged in. That's perfectly fine. But again, wirelessly pair it, right? So again, I'm going to turn back on my controller. You guys can see me do it here. And again, just use your controller for a couple of seconds before you redo the button spam step, right? So again, to redo it, hover over, turn off accessories. Let me go ahead and grab that red cable. There we go, it just went ahead and fell. And again, just do the button spam step one more time. Again, it's so quick and so easy, you can just keep doing it, right? So again, hold down right on the D-pad, give the Zen power from the top, but pay attention, this time it just says Zen, right? Make sure yours only says Zen and keep right on the D-pad held the whole time, right? There we go, controller's on. 
we did the bind spam step and now you can use the controller okay so now we're going to perform the same steps but we're going to use our dual sense side so same thing i'm going to kill the power from the top of the zen right there we go you have to do the bind spam step every time you turn on the ps5 long as you guys do it once you're going to be good to go all right so again i'm going to go ahead and unplug the regular ps5 controller now if you're using the dual sense edge all the same steps right first you have to go ahead and wirelessly pair your dual sense edge to the ps5 let's see if it turns on you can see mine's not pairing so if that happens just wired pair the controller right you can see mine's just not pairing to the ps5 i'm gonna have to wirely pair the controller so i'm gonna use it basically wired for a second until it decides to pair there we go we can see my dual sense edge controller is paired to our ps5 let me go up here go to settings i just want to show you guys everything so i'm not skipping steps right we can see right here if i go to accessories it should show up with our ps5 controller right the dual sense edge but again you want to make sure it's wireless right so i'm gonna to have to kill the power from this thing okay give it a second and then turn on the controller again right because you want to make sure you wirelessly pair your controller to the ps5 before you perform the bind spam step right so you can see it's wireless now i'm going to go ahead and get rid of the zen cam let's go back into settings and all the same steps you want to go to accessories go to controller in general make sure your communication method is just use usb cable and then all you do go up to general hover over turn off accessories and again wire up your controller now from the zen so you can see i got the usb cable i'll show you guys exactly how it should look if you pick up your zen you can see left side's your cable plugged into the dual sense edge and now give the power from the top so there we go you guys can see we're going to go ahead and get ready to give power but before you plug it in same step all you want to do is hold down right on the d-pad all right so hold down right on the d-pad you can see me holding it and again keep it held plug the zen in from the top make sure it just says zen on here right and again keep right on the d-pad held the whole time there we go did the bind spam step now we can use our controller with our zen guys that's how simple it is